Alright, welcome to Real Dilemmas. My name is Michael, and my challenge today is item, glass of water. Theme, if the management says the customer is always right, then management is always wrong. Character, Michael DuPay, a man who up until he was 30 delivered pizzas, but now has two published novels and is a widely popular comedian. Plot Shred. Michael tries to deliver a pizza, and hilarity ensues. Place. Leaning more than sitting on a bar stool in front of a massive audience. Genre. Stand-up comedy. Alright, let's get to it! Cue theme! Michael gets out of his Corvette and walks toward the door of a nice house. He's halfway there before he realizes that he has no pizza. He has a suit on, because he doesn't deliver pizzas anymore. He shakes his head and leaves. Cut to Michael in front of a massive audience, leaning more than sitting on a bar stool with a glass of water. I, I haven't delivered pizza since I was 30. And I still do this. Manager still said that would go away. I should have known better. Management is always wrong. Delivering pizzas was hard on me, specifically because my mind really needs to not be left alone for long stretches of time. Like, to give you an idea of how an average delivery would go, like, I'll be on my way and I'll see a girl I'm attracted to at some point. It's inevitable so my mind will latch on to her and start fabricating these conversations with her uh, when i have any conversations in my head i never get the like the actual words just the idea and gist of them at first it will be wonderful and romantic and we begin a well in romance and class against the world usually by this time they've Finish signing, and I hand them the pizza and go on about my day. My mind, though, my mind doesn't leave. It continues on the epic journey of romance. We find a nice little Italian place that no one else knows about, and yet somehow stays in business. We go on a road trip, and we have our differences. I can't stand seafood, and she has to have sushi. Nobody's perfect. Then by the time I get back to my car, we're married and both successful at our chosen careers, we can see that despite the bliss we have had, the best is yet to come. But my mind is a dick. Just a fucking asshole. Because I soon come to understand that not everything is the way it seems. I've jumped forward where we are incredibly wealthy and now profoundly unhappy. Because I only got my wealth by betraying my one true friend. And I know that she really loved him more than me. And she blames me for his death. And rightly so. And our children look at me and they know. They know that I am not their father. Alright! There we go. My challenge for Nick is theme. You need losers to be a winner. Item. A third place trophy. Character, Paul Halderman. A father who pushes his kids to win at sports and constantly tries to make his accounting job sound perfectly analogous with sportsing. Place, a boxing ring to prove a point. Plot shred, Paul learns that his kid's coach is his high school nemesis played by Jack Black. Genre, Kevin James family movie. Yes, now go! And be wonderful!